You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses, foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood-red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future. Not just for the world, but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time, like a big flashbulb going off. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity. It's still out there, in the wastes, preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Are you listening? Good. From now on, when I talk, listen, and follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. Get here? You walked into one of my traps in the Mojave, following the Sierra and Madre signal. Now, you're here with that collar on your neck. It's like that pit boy on your wrist, except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some tune. Do what I said, and the collar will go off. Refuse, try and run, disobey me. I'll kill you and find someone else. There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. That structure you see above the fountain, the Sierra Madre Casino. You need to break inside. Ah, uh, heist. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps. You'll need to gather a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. Around the world are three other callers like yours. Caller eight, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here to the phone. Then we'll talk to them. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. All your callers are linked. One of you dies, you all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. I've downloaded the instructions and markers on your pit boy in case you forget. And yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Get the other three here after that. I'll have more instructions for you. Do this, I'll let you go. I'll let all of you go. Good. If necessary, I will guide you through the villa's broadcast systems. If you get lost, return here, and I'll direct you. I've downloaded instructions on an audio log to your Pip-Boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're here, let my voice remind you.
Watch out for the villa inhabitants. They're difficult to kill unless you chop them apart. If you can, blow them up or disintegrate them. and radios interfere with the bomb caller frequency and can trigger the detonators prematurely. Hmm. It is an unfortunate side effect, one I did not anticipate. I was unable to calibrate the callers to block the signals. The noise makes so my stomach hurt. You'll have to make do. Turn the noise off.
dog in the cage, hiding downstairs. As I scratched on the villa walls a little farther. Follow my voice. That's it. The one in the cage? Dog. I had to lock him up. He keeps disobeying me. Master, just keep him away. Dog, back in the cave. What have we here? You weren't who I was expecting. I'm disappointed. Still, even if you aren't my intended guest, you take direction. Good. 
You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. Or perhaps you are, with that leash on your arm, and the one around your neck. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kin. I'm the voice of reason. I sleep sometimes. Down in the basement. In the cage. Now that I'm awake, Dog goes back in the cage. Dog knows I'm here, but can't do anything about it. I'm his... conscience. Keep him tame. Keep him from hurting us. Doing foolish things. I've been trapped in here for some time. Then you come along and let me out. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Now, I want to know why. Trauma. Yes, in a manner of speaking. Do you see these wounds of his? Covering his skin, the bear trap on his arm. He placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me. When all I try to do... <sighs> he cuts, hurts, and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed, just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages. Like the ones here. It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things. Needs to think before he eats. Chew before he swallows. He's... eager that way. Now the collar's a part of me. Inside. I can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below, like before. It was cold and heavy before going in the cage. Now you're here, and it's pulling and kicking again, tugging like a leash. Interesting. They... detach. When segmented, they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. And if they're attached to neck flesh, warm, red... Dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Dog can't help himself. Hungry. Greedy. And now the collar's inside. Alive again. And we're trapped here until it goes cold. No. No, I don't think so. Even in here, I have more control than you do. I'm not leaving until the one who controls the collars shows. Not his voice, not his hand, not his lackey. Him. And when he comes to see me, we'll settle things. So go on. Go back to your master. Tell him I'm waiting for him. Dog may follow him. I won't. <laughs> Dog? You're not talking to him now, are you? No. Even if you could drag Dog out of his cage, you still couldn't get him out of this cage. I put him here for a reason. If he could have escaped, he would have. So here he stays. Of course you can't. This cage is locked tight. From you and the old man.
They were here when I arrived. So I made use of them, in a manner of speaking. More their voices, really. These collars, they don't just track us. You can eavesdrop on them as well. Tune to a frequency, and you can hear everything someone is saying. So perhaps it's a good thing that Dog swallowed his collar. Anyone listening would find it difficult to hear past the digestion. Very good. Yes, it's another layer of white noise to ensure privacy. Unfortunately, it's also acted as a dinner bell for the residents. As long as the holographic greeter outside is active, however, I can get by them. The holograms fascinate them. The key? Why, it's the old man, the one who brought us here. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old... If Dog was in control... Dog... obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? You... Don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage. End you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until... You think I'm afraid of your collar exploding, killing us? No. I'll leave you breathing, then keep walking until my collar goes cold. I'll prop your broken body in view of the Sierra Madre, so you can see what you came to steal. Forever out of reach as you die. Prove it. How? Words are worthless. <laughs> and so, greed, practical or otherwise, has its day. Although it may not matter. Master, the dog not hear you come in. Too hungry now. At cage door. Master, dog is listening. Now you are close, and he can hear you over hunger. Dog. Dog doesn't have a... Hmm. Here it is. Dog. Dog didn't know it was there. How did it get there? Yes, Master. Master sounds different. Quieter. Master. Yes, Master. Inside's growling.
you're his master. Pretty circle on machine, all glowing. Like this place. Want to go back, back to the base. Or the church. Miss the church. Something bad. It tastes like burnt wires. Inside's growling. Don't like this place. Want to go back, back to the base. Or the church. Miss the church. up signals near your location. Detonators, watch for traps. Still good at not be seen.
want to go back, back to the base. Or the church. Miss the church. smells bad. Picking up signals near your location. Detonators, watch for traps. Swallowed something bad. Tastes like burnt wires.
dog will be good this time. Something bad. Tastes like burnt wires. That one's got a hit on their shoulders. For now. Don't like this place. Want to go back. Back to the base. The Sierra Madre. Mm, beauty, isn't she? She the one who invited you here? Or maybe you didn't catch her voice on the radio. Woke up confused like some of the others. Least you're still breathing. By the way, don't get up or make any sudden motions, no matter how uncomfortable that chair gets. The cushion's just for show. Might be a bit rude, but that chair you're sitting in, it's got a shaped charge in the seat cushion. Get up without my permission. I'll blast your ass so far through your head, it'll turn the moon cherry pie red. So, let's keep this sweet and polite, and finish our conversation with no misunderstanding. And that's what I've missed, a rapt audience. Just because I work in entertainment doesn't mean I'm a moron. I heard my necktie beeping. I know what that means. I'm part of this somehow. I want out of this contract. And if you put me in it, I'm not going to be too happy. So whatever's going on here, if you're part of all this, you're taking orders from me. Good, good, then we're in business. I may be a betting man, but I like it when the odds are in our favor. If you're here with who I think, then I'd rather have you on my side than his. An ace in the hole. You want to live, I want what's in the madre. Real simple. All right, all right. But you already got company, so tell you what. I'll meet you at the fountain. Don't have to take the long way back. There's a shortcut across the way, you see? It's through the cloud, but if I'm with you, I can help you through it. If you didn't already force the lock to the gate. Always yell at dog. Yell
other dog because it's hungry. Can't stop it. Always need more. Stinging. No have wrist collar now. Dogs. Still good at not be seen. Don't like this place. Want to go back, back to the base. Eyes stinging. doesn't come back. Mean. Bad. Inside's growling. Like this place. Want to go back, back to the base. Or the church. This the church. So you don't forget your name? I don't remember you. Who are you? A little slow, huh? Ah, uh, Dean. Dean Domino. I live here. You look like food. Smell like food. Dog. Hungry. All right, pal. You stay in your corner. I'll stay in mine. Too much. 